Today we're going to talk to white people about a pretty black and white topic that too many white people think has a lot of grey area. No, Pantone didn't sponsor this episode. We're going to talk about being an ally to people of colour. An ally is someone who wants to fight for the equality of a marginalised group that they're not a part of. This is not meant to be some definitive statement on how to be a race ally. It's just meant to continue the conversation of people who give a damn about other people on this planet and to sort out a few common points that I see people misconstrue on the regular. The first thing to remember is, as white people, we benefit from racism. To borrow from Peggy McIntosh, white privilege is like having an invisible knapsack that we carry around. It contains a whole bunch of benefits, maps, clothes and blank checks that will give us many opportunities just because of our skin colour. Think about ways your skin colour puts you at an advantage over people of colour. I mean, even if we don't mean to and even if we think we're doing our part to try and end it. Ask yourself if security follows you every time you walk into a store and not just because you're Sharon Needles. Ask yourself how often you've ever been pulled over for no reason and aggressively questioned as to who owns the expensive car you're driving. Ask yourself why so many jobs you've worked at or businesses you've gone into there never seems to be more than a handful of non-white people in positions of power. Those things aren't all a coincidence. They're the spoils of racism, like bigot Bitcoin. They were institutionalized long before any of us got here, but that all of us still, by default, benefit from. As I heard from activist Monroe Bergdorf, racism isn't learned, it's inherited. Recognizing your place of power and privilege in an unfair system can, as an ally, allow you to start using that privilege and opportunity to do good. A great way to do good is by amplifying the voices of people of colour without taking up space. This means listening to what people of colour are saying, sharing those stories and messages and experiences with other white people and not making it about you. I know that sucks, but being an ally isn't about you. Also, if you see something, say something. If you see an injustice occurring, confront it. Don't just look the other way. Adding your voice in a situation where someone's voice is being taken away is powerful and important. Next, stop looking for reasons that would make horrible things not racist. Stop actively hoping that they find an AK-47 in the bedroom of a 10 year old who's just been shot to death by police because well, at least then you don't have to face how really racist we are. This sort of thinking feeds into racism in a lot of people, it probably stems from a common logical fallacy we all do called the just world fallacy. It's where our minds try to protect our own selves from the idea of terrible things by trying to find lessons from that tragedy that would have prevented it. Oh, she got raped while jogging at night. I'll just not jog at night and I won't get raped. She should have done that. Though it's a logical defense mechanism for our brain to do, it also desensitizes us and accuses the victim and can play into the hands of things like racism, misogyny, and so on. Most importantly, don't assume that you know the answer or understand how racism affects the people it's aimed at. Change the way you approach your dialogue with people of color. It's basically scientific principle, right? Don't assume the result. Simply pose the question and listen to the answer. Sure, talk about what you've seen and learned, but take in what the people of color you know say about their experiences and ideas. Remember that allies have a dialogue while dictators have a monologue. And you can't spell dictator without dick. Don't be a dick. Dicks are for making love. I highly encourage all of you to do some Googling. I mean, you'll find a bevy of information that can be really eye-opening and help you better understand what's going on around the world. Also, don't expect every person of color that you meet to be a representative for their community. There are a million ways you can use the white privilege we've been given for good and not just for our own good. Bye.